It is December 26, 2016. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. Uh, I, I always pick out a few different things to keep a very close eye on um, because to me, they're the more volatile situations uh, in the world. And just recently, um, the United States abstained uh, at, a, at a UN vote um, about Israel and, and them continuing to build settlements um, outside of Israel itself. So, and I know it's a hot topic, and I know there's a lot of people that have a lot of thoughts either way. I, um, I, I, I would tell anybody to, uh, to go to their Bible with it and, and make the decision because that's how I approach it, and I see it quite differently than a lot of Americans um, I mean, it's just what I get, but I'm, I'm keeping my eye on this, um, very close eye on this, uh, Business Insider released a report today titled, Israel has reportedly suspended ties with 12 UN Security Council nations, okay, uh, Israel's foreign ministry has reportedly suspended all working ties with 12 of the UN Security Council countries that voted to pass a resolution urging Israel to halt building settlements on occupied Palestinian land. The move came at Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's request one day after he summoned 10 of the nation's ambassadors to Jerusalem to personally reprimand them for the vote. Foreign ministers and ambassadors from Britain, France, Russia, China, Japan, Ukraine, Angola, Egypt, Uruguay, Spain, Senegal, and New Zealand will not be received at Israel's foreign ministry amid the suspension the Times of Israel reported. They will also not be granted an audience with Netanyahu. Okay, pay close attention to those countries, folks. Um, the big ones in there, I would say, would be Russia and China. To really be paying close attention to. The U.S. abstained from the unexpected U.N. vote on Friday, which has further increased tensions between Netanyahu and President Obama stemming from the U.S.-led nuclear negotiations with Iran and Obama's long-standing opposition to Israel's uh, settlement policy. Now, I'm going to be doing another report after this report um, talking about Iran um, because, again, if you kind of pick out a few different areas, a few different hot spots, and watch what happens around those hot spots, you can kind of get a good indicator of what's going on. Let's see. Um, Netanyahu called the U.S. refusal to veto the resolution shameful and underhanded, and on Sunday held a public cabinet meeting where he accused Obama of conspiring with Palestine to craft the resolution and bring it to a vote at the U.N., According to our information, we have no doubt the Obama administration initialed it, the resolution, stood behind it, coordinating the wording, and demanded it be passed, Netanyahu said. The White House has denied that allegation, reiterating that it allowed the resolution to pass instead of wielding its veto power because it is concerned that Israel's settlement construction on territory occupied by Palestinians is not conducive or are conducive to negotiations over a two-state solution. Explaining her decision to abstain from the vote, the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Samantha Power said, the U.S. has been sending the message that the settlements must stop privately and publicly for five decades, and that allowing its passage is in line with the bipartisan U.S. policy. She added that the U.S. is still committed to Israel's security and working toward a two-state solution with Palestine. Palestinians say the West Bank and East Jerusalem should be a part of their future state, but nearly 60, or 600,000 Israelis have settled there in what the Palestinians say is an illegal occupation of their territory. Palestine's ambassador to the U.N. said that the vote will alleviate the suffering of our people and that our appeals to stop the settlements have been calls for the council to contribute to long-term peace in the region and in the world. He said urgent efforts are needed 
to hold Israel accountable for its settlement expansion. The last time the 15-member UN Security Council adopted a resolution on Israeli settlements was 36 years ago. The chamber broke into spontaneous applause after the resolution was passed, with 14 members voting yes and only the U.S. abstaining. The resolution condemned all measures aimed at altering the demographic composition character and status of the Palestinian territory occupied since 1967, including East Jerusalem, and requested the UN Secretary General to report to the Council every three months on the implementation of the provisions of the present resolution. Over decades, American administrations and Israeli governments disagreed about settlements, but we agreed that the Security Council was not the place to resolve this issue. Netanyahu said during his weekly cabinet meeting on Sunday. We knew that going there would make negotiations harder and drive peace further away. As I told John Kerry on Thursday, friends don't take friends to the Security Council. So, obviously, that situation is, is ramping up. Um, and it, I would be concerned with all the countries that are involved in this. Um, it's... Uh, a lot of them aren't really our best friends right now, okay? So, you know, this could be shaping into something big. It's something we'll just have to keep an eye on.